Hi everyone, I'm Molly McGee and I'm a Digital Initiatives Intern in the Curatorial Department at the SCMA this summer. Welcome to the second episode of SCMA's Look and Listen, a three-part video series I created pairing student musicians and singers from across the five colleges with works in our permanent collection. In each episode, one student will perform a piece of their choice inspired by an artwork they selected with the help of an SCMA curator. In this episode, Owen Mead will perform a piece he composed inspired by Revenge of the Goldfish, a work by Sandra Louise Scogland. Now April Gallant, Associate Director of Curatorial Affairs and Senior Curator of Prints, Drawings, and Photographs, will give us a little more information on Scogland's work. Thanks, Molly. I'm pleased to get a chance to tell you a little bit about the artist Sandy Scogland and introduce this artwork, Revenge of the Goldfish. Sandy Scogland is an alumna of Smith College and her artistic training was in film and painting. She's best known for her photographs that record the minutely detailed, surreal and open-ended narrative tableau that she constructs. While her images might look like they're digitally constructed, they are in fact all done by hand. In the late 1970s, Scoglin began creating life-size rooms, many of them domestic spaces, like in Revenge of the Goldfish, in which she would juxtapose human actors with sculpted and painted elements. After creating the rooms, she photographed them with an 8x10 camera, skillfully and deliberately calibrating the light and the framing to create an immersive scene. The photographs are sharply focused, richly colored and glossy, almost hyper-real. These scenes often ride a line between playful and threatening, whimsical and ominous. In Revenge of the Goldfish, a bedroom painted entirely blue seems overrun with over life-size goldfish, which swim through the air, flop on surfaces, and peek out of drawers. The two human occupants seem oblivious to their surroundings, and there's lots of room for viewers to create their own stories about what's going on. Scoglin considers the setup rooms to be artworks in and of themselves, and SCMA actually owns the components that make up this room, all the blue painted furniture and the ceramic goldfish, which are displayed in precise patterns. All this careful planning creates a dreamlike atmosphere that viewers can easily get lost in. Now, I will turn it over to Owen Need, who will perform an original composition inspired by this artwork. My name is Owen Need. I graduated from Hampshire College in spring of 2020, and I chose the artwork Revenge of the Goldfish because I thought it would lend itself well to an interesting musical composition using vocal looping, which is something I haven't otherwise experimented with. So it was a really fun sort of new avenue to go down, and uh, I hope you like it. <laughs> Am I 